interpreter saying, hi, this is Carrie. How have you been? Oh, I'm doing well. And this is the interpreter speaking. Just to let you know the nurse is here, where would you rather I sit? Mm -hmm. Can you sit at the side of the bed? Is here. Hello, Cheryl. My name is Joe Quita. I will be attending to you today. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm stable. Okay. Well, do you mind if I can check your vitals now? Okay. You have to. I'm just going to get started. How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, just so you know, I don't eat turkey. I didn't this Thanksgiving. My husband and I went to a Japanese restaurant instead. It was delicious, healthy food. We really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you. Well, that's different. It is. It is different. Yep. All right. So I want to get your temperature. And I just need you to put this in your mouth and hold it under your tongue. Okay, just allow me another moment. I have to find a cover. One moment, if I could just go get a cover, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Nurse is returning, Cheryl. Looks like she's still looking for the cover. I'm trying to find it. I do apologize. Okay, I finally found him. Okay, so this is just gonna go under your tongue for a couple of seconds. Perfect. And I'm just going to get your vitals on your finger as well. And I'm just going to take it 
your your vitals are fine. It's ninety seven point nine. Thank you. All right. One moment. Okay. Is there a preference of of which arm you want for your blood pressure to be taken? Okay. Left arm, yes. And I just got to get a little higher. It'll be just a moment. And Miss, uh, this is the interpreter speaking. Uh, I'm not going to be able to communicate with her if you have both arms occupied. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe you could do the blood pressure cuff on the other arm as well. I guess I can do that. Just allow me a moment. We're going to change it. I do apologize. And the interpreter is just uh, catching up the patient on the conversation. Okay, then we're just going to switch it. You just got to get a little higher. There we go. Is that too tight? Just give it a moment. I feel it. I feel it now. It's starting to tighten up now. Okay. All right. And the inter interpreter is just reading off the numbers for her. So that looks good. You got 122 over 64. How is your appetite? Do you have a good diet? Is it normal? Do you mind if I can check your stomach? Uh, yes, but I just want to let you know that the bandage might be a little dirty and needs replacing. No worries. After I check your, your stomach, I'll be more than happy to change your bandage for you, Mrs. Cheryl. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right, it sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and change your bandage if you don't mind. Okay.
All right, we're just going to get rid of the old one. It's looking good. It looks like it will be healing soon. This is the interpreter. If you can give us just a minute. Okay, here we go. You said it's looking good. Are you in any pain? <laughs> no, I, I'm not in any pain. has been seeping or oozing and this is the interpreter asking for clarification uh, do you know if it's blood or clear do you know what's oozing and uh, the patient's responding I'm not sure I can't see what's oozing and so yeah there's just an ooze uh, and so we're unsure if it's pink or clear at this point Okay, well, we will have to definitely monitor that more closely. What would be a good time for a nurse to come every day? You know, that would be good to have someone here every day. And I would prefer a morning visit, maybe between 9 or 10, just about. Okay, well we can definitely put that on the schedule. Are you any in are you any are you in any pain now? And thanks for putting on the schedule. No, not in any pain at the moment, no. Okay. Well do you have any questions about your medication? Actually, I do have a question, yes. Now, if I am feeling pain, what would be the best medication to help with that? Would that just be Tylenol? What did your surgeon provide? Do you still have that medication? He didn't provide anything. Uh, well, I should be honest, that medication actually made me dizzy, so I stopped taking it. And instead, I've been taking the Tylenol, uh, and then it seemed to have stopped. But I'm thinking that if it comes back, I'll take the Tylenol again. And I just want to make sure that's okay, is it? Well, I would like to consult that with your doctor. And then we will have a, a conversation about what you should be taking. If those side effects were adverse, we would definitely make sure that we get you on something that agrees with you. Right. And I should also tell you that I was in the hospital for nine days and there they were giving me Tylenol on a daily basis. And so that's why I thought I'd be okay with the Tylenol, but it is a high dosage. Uh, well, I mean, at the hospital, it was a higher dosage. Uh, as far as a prescription, I didn't get a prescription at all. So I just kind of decided on my own to go ahead and take regular Tylenol. Okay, well, Ms. Cheryl, we don't usually condone you taking the, your own medicine. I tell you what, what we can do is we can set a, uh, a consultation with your surgeon and make sure that both of y'all can agree on a treatment plan. Okay, that sounds fine. All right. Was there anything else that I can assist you with today? Not at the moment. I'm good. 
All right. Well, it was. Okay, I'm good for today. Oh, it was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for coming. All right. We will be in contact shortly for tomorrow's visit. All right. Bye-bye.